Live from London, this is BBC News. Hello and welcome, I'm Lakshmi Gopal. Well, we start here in the UK with just five days to go before the general election. The leader of the Reform UK party, Nigel Farage, Stephen Flynn there. Well, I'm joined now by Harry Farley, our political correspondent. Uh, Harry, people watching will have seen a little bit earlier the Reform leader, Nigel Farage, uh, taking to the stage at a rally, criticising quite strongly he won still. Well, as you say, cost of living is one. There are, there are more. For the analysis there, that's our political correspondent, Harry Farley. The Spanish Civil Guard has called off the search for the missing British teenager Jay Slater. The night Live from London, this is BBC News. Hello and welcome, I'm Lakshmi Gopal. Well, let's start here in the UK with just five days to go before the general election. The leader of the Reform UK party, Nigel Farage, has given a rally in Birmingham. It comes just days after a racism row embroiled his party in scandal. The Prime Minister reads on the developments in the uh, French elections and on all the other stories that we've been covering today. I'm Lakshmi Gopal, stay with us here on BBC News. This is BBC News, your headlines. The reform... Live from London, this is BBC News. The Our very multitasking camera operator there who was able to film and celebrate that Slovakian goal. Stay with us here on BBC News. Live from London, this is BBC News. Hello and welcome. I'm Luxmi Gopal. Let's go straight to the BBC Sports Centre for a full roundup with Paul. Paul, it's a bit of a heart in mouth moment uh, for England fans, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, our eyes across that. But now, as Paul was mentioning, one of the crown jewels of Mer McCarthy, our reporter here. So tell us, you've got hot off the press updates on that. Luxmi at Wimbledon this year. And we'll find out more tomorrow from him as to uh, what more we might see of him. But Emma Raducanu is another name we'll be looking out for tomorrow. Of course. Now, I'm sure she's at home right now. Talent. But what are some of the other names you'll be looking out for tomorrow? Well, I think all eyes will be on Carlos Alcaraz, of course. Yeah, he's sounding pretty confident there, Luxme. But of treat yourself to some strawberries and cream and pims now. Oh, I absolutely will. Thank you. <laughs> Save some for me, though. <laughs> don't, don't forget. That's Ema McCarthy, our reporter there. And, uh, of course, that other sport that we're all uh, thinking. Let's turn to politics, because with only days to go until the general election, the BBC is visiting communities across the country to find out what people are most concerned about. The coastal towns of Dover.